Hi, it's my favorite time of day, the time of day when I get to read a good book to you. Today we're going to read Meet Wild Boars, and it's by Meg Rossoff and Sophie Blackall. Do you know what a boar is? It's kind of like a pig, right? Only it has tusks, tusks like an elephant has. See the footprints? This is Boris, this is Morris, this is Horus, this is Doris. They are wild boars. They are dirty and smelly, bad-tempered and rude. Do you like them? Never mind, they do not like you either. If you are polite to Boris and hold the door for him, he will tusk you with his horrible tusks. Tusk, tusk, tusk. Bad Boris. If you share your treats with Morris, he will stomp on them with his beastly feet. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Naughty Morris. If you try to help Horace with his mittens, he will make a nasty smell and snort with laughter. Snort, snort, snort. Horrid Horace. And as for Doris, oh my my, she is stinkier than a stink pot turtle. She is uglier than an ugly fruit. She is bossier than a bossy saurus. Poor wild boars, nobody loves them. Maybe just once they could come to your house. What do you think about that? You could make them some snacks. You might show them your toys play dress up or dominoes, splash in the bath. They could borrow pajamas and sleep in your room. Nice wild boars, sweet wild boars. They promise just this once they will, they will try to be good. Oh no, they will not. Horace will soak in the toilet for hours. He'll eat all your soap, clip his toenails in bed, be rude to your pets, cut the strings off your puppets, Make fun of your feet? Lock himself in the shed? Morris won't eat what you give him for supper or let you go first. Say excuse me or please. He'll sneer and he'll scratch, stick his snout up your jumper, then eat all your chocolate and give you his fleas. Boris will break every one of your pencils. He'll smash up your puzzles and use all your glue, make horrible smells, leave the tops off your pens, stamp his foot, have a tantrum, then swear it was you. Sound like a good house guest to you, Abby? And as for Doris, who has never been good, not for one single second, not once, not ever, never, she will ask for a toy in case she gets lonely and scared in the dark. Dear little Doris. To which we say, ha, huh, given half a chance or even less, Doris will eat your very best whale, flippers and all. So perhaps it is best if we all agree that there is no such thing as a nice wild boar. Then if you happen to run across one that is fluffy and sweet, though chances are that you won't, you will be very pleasantly amazed. but not at all fooled. What happened? Oh my goodness. That is a funny book and I hope you liked it. Can you hear my wild boar in the background? His name's Ed. All right, I hope you liked this and I, see, I will see you next time. Bye, Garrison.